Welcome to your weekly airplane news update. This is the week of June 20th, 2022. We got four stories for you this week. A gear collapse leads to a pretty big fire in Miami. We have the FAA publishing new guidance for NOTAMs, notices to air missions. We have uh, the telecoms and the big telecoms and the FAA reaching out another deal on 5G. And then lastly, we'll talk about Airbus flying the A321 XLR for the first time. So let's get to it. The first story this week happened only a few days ago. This is a red air flight that came from the Dominican Republic uh, flying to the Miami airport and they experienced a gear collapse while taxiing and then subsequently caught on fire. Uh, the MD-82, which is a much older aircraft, the landing gear collapsed during the landing and they were basically getting out uh, taxiing and the airplane appeared to be skidding off the runway and then catching fire. Uh, three people were taken to the hospital with minor injuries, but nobody died. You can see from the video, it's actually a really scary event. Uh, we assume that the FA and the NTSB are going to be uh, investigating and then if we find more about this we'll uh, talk about it next week. Next thing is the FAA talking about new guidance for NOTAMs. Uh, NOTAMs is Notices to Air Missions. Yes, the term has changed recently. It used to be Notices to Airmen. Uh, the FAA issued a new advisory circular called AC-150-5200-28 uh, Golf. <laughs> yes, I know. Uh, to clarify the use of NOTAMs. Uh, and then in there, it's, it's quoted to say, the AC provides guidance on using the NOTAM system for airport condition reporting and procedures used to describe, format, and disseminate information on unanticipated or temporary changes to components of or hazard uh, in the national airspace system. I'll leave it to the FAA to make something rather simple as a NOTAM, uh, as a very uh, complex description. Uh, but uh, the AC also says that NOTAMs are to provide timely information of unanticipated temporary changes to components, hazards in the national airspace system. Uh, the idea behind this change and this advisory circular is to simplify the NOTAM system and we all know uh, if you've flown and if you ever had to deal with NOTAMs, we all know that it's much, much, much needed. Uh, the, uh, the NOTAM system is archaic. The FAA knows that, I'm sure. Uh, everybody knows that, but it's, uh, it's just uh, absolutely impossible when you fly at bigger airports to make any sense of uh, the amount of NOTAMs um, and, and something needs to change, quite frankly. So hopefully this new guidance is going to help reduce the, uh, the number, number of uh, unnecessary NOTAMs out there and keep things at least little bit simpler for pilots. Next story is the telecoms and the FAA. So that's uh, Verizon and AT&T have reached yet another deal to prevent disruption of flights in the airspace. Uh, the deal extends the, the reduced power uh, in certain cities for another year, uh, after which the uh, telecom companies are expecting to operate their network, well, as it was designed. Uh, it appears that the FAA will be pushing carriers now, uh, aircraft carriers, to replace the altimeter that may be experiencing interruption due to 5G. And then they are planning to possibly install filters that would reduce the risk of interference. Uh, if you remember, we've been talking about this for quite a while now. Uh, the FA was, well, the telecoms were supposed to start using 5Gs early uh, at the end of last year, early uh, this year. And then uh, somebody realized that there were gonna be issues with interference to uh, some type of altimeters with uh, larger aircraft. So the FA said, uh, can you please not do that until we figure things out? And uh, and they haven't figured it out just yet. So um, we'll find out more on this, I'm sure, over the next year or so. And then hopefully we have, uh, well, we have a solution at the end of all this. Last story this week is Airbus announced this week that they've flown their extra long range, the uh, XLR uh, A321. It's a single aisle jet, and that was for the first time. Uh, this is a major milestone for the A320 families and for the customers. This is what uh, Philip Munn, the, uh, the Airbus Executive Vice President for Programs and Services, and they said that the XLR was going to offer a long haul comfort on a single aisle aircraft. And they have this called airspace cabin, which I guess is more spacious. Uh, the XLR will open new routes and uh, help really make flying more affordable for the airlines, I'm sure, and uh, help them make more profit. So uh, if you want more information, we'll put a link down in the description. And uh, that's it. That's all we have for you this week. As always, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.